welcome back to the next step of forging. So we are back at the crystalline meeting with the faucet of forging and about to take on the next quest. Let's see what she has to say. Greetings, Claire. Ready to conjure up another fantastic new convenience? Sure, why not? Look at them. Those three have certainly taken to the work with a passion, which is supposed to be expected from such veteran artisans. Anyway, let's get started on our final project, shall we? Our client this time around is the Crystarium's own city guard. I may have mentioned this before, but they've been the only customer that stuck with us through thick and thin since the time my father ran the bellows. The problem is, father would accept the guard's commission regardless of the losses we stood to make, and that hit our profit margin and became a major factor in the forge's decline. I understand why he did it. The guard protects us from the Sin Eaters, and he wanted to outfit them with the best equipment he could provide. A sharper sword, a sturdier shield, the slightest edge might help against the monsters, which took my mother from us. Now more than ever, the Bellows is in a position to supply the Crystarium's defenders in the way my father would have wanted. You remember Neymar? He recently told me of a special gemstone which can only be found in Ilmeg. It seems Verbatite Knights used to carry such a jewel to ward off hostile magics, a talisman of sorts. Well, call it fate, but the city guard's vulnerability in the arcane was the last project to consume my father's attention before he died. He wanted to fix the flaw he perceived in their armor, and it falls to me to complete his legacy. As such, the item I would have you craft is already decided, a neck piece set with the gemstone from Ilmeg. This is it, Claire, our final collaboration. I look forward to seeing what masterpiece you devised to protect our soldiers from fell sorcery. Okay, so this is gonna be the last piece. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh no, wait, there's supposed to be one more quest after this. Okay, I can live with that. When this project is finished, I imagine you'll be off to help someone new. It's been selfish of me to hoard all of your talent for myself. Well, that's nice. Okay, nullifying neck piece, an amulet imbued with magic resistant properties. It looks pretty, if nothing else. Okay, let's see what we've got. So we need six of them. Um, okay, so let's continue on and see what we craft. Alright, there we go. Alright, there we go. That was a pain, but hey, we're done. So let's go ahead and turn these all in. All six pieces. Thank you, Claire. With these neck pieces, our soldiers will be equipped to face down even the scariest arcane threats. I delivered your work to the city guard, so that's that. Our final project together is all but complete. Now we simply wait for the client's verdict. Forge Master Lola. Oh, Lena! That would be me. What can I do for you, Captain Lena? I came to discuss the new equipment you left with our supply officer. Your father always provided us with the highest quality armament, but was never satisfied with his attempts to infuse arcane resistance. He would have been proud of this neck piece you crafted. We in the Guard face danger on a daily basis, and I cannot overstate how much of the availability of your potent talisman will benefit the morale. I wanted to visit you in person, that I might properly express my gratitude. I'm pleased to know you are pleased, but I can only accept thanks for the idea. The craftsmanship was all Claire here. Claire, a master artisan, is there no end to your surprises? An impressive talent, isn't it? She's as skilled as my own father was. With their work as a template, I mean to keep the Iron Bellows producing goods of the highest quality. As such, I also hope the City Guard will continue entrusting their commissions to my forge in the years to come. We would consider it a privilege. Be proud of how the armaments provided by your family forge served an integral part of the Crystarium's defense. Did you hear that? An integral part, she said. I almost feel like weeping. And what are you three up to now? 
I had a long row getting the bellows back on track, and you stood by me every step of the way. Rest well, Claire. You deserve it. Okay, that was fast. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead here and Iron Bellow's greatest weapon. I love that idea. Okay, so a new quest is going to be waiting for us then. Alright, so we just have to be a level 80. Okay, not a problem, but everyone else here is missing now. Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> Okay, well, I think that's going to be it for right now, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching, and join me next time for the finale, where we actually get to... Whoa, didn't mean to do that. Don't know how that happened. But I will say this, she does look cute. Okay, as I was saying, join me next time, and we'll continue on in finishing up the faucet of forging.